we have covered two types of multiplication problems so far. First, problems like 98 times 97 when both numbers were below the base. And second, problems like 102 times 103 when both numbers were above the base. In both cases, the product of the deviations was positive and we could write it on the right. But what if we have an example like 13 times 8? Here, the base is 10 as both the numbers are close to 10. 13 as we can see is above the base and 8 is below the base. Let's see if the steps we used earlier work for such problems as well. Base, deviations, sum and product. The deviation of 13 from 10 will be 13 minus 10, 3 and the deviation of 8 from 10 will be 8 minus 10 and that is minus 2. Sum on the left and the product on the right. The sum can be 13 plus minus 2 which is 13 minus 2 or it can be 8 plus 3. Both give us 11. What about the product of the deviations? It will equal 3 times minus 2 and that is minus 6. Now it gets tricky. We have a minus sign here. So let's write a minus 6 here. Can this be the answer? The number doesn't even make sense. 11 and minus 6? The solution is very simple actually. We subtract a 1 from the left hand figure and add the base to the right hand figure. Adding the base will give us 10 plus minus 6 which equals 10 minus 6. 11 minus 1 is 10 and 10 minus 6 is 4. But wait, before writing 4, we should check the number of digits that are allowed on the right. As the number of zeros in the base is 1, the number of digits on the right will also be 1. So we write a 4 here. That's our answer, 104. So what we did was very simple. Whenever we have a negative number on the right, we subtract 1 from the left hand figure and add the base to the right hand figure. Why do we do this? The logic is simple. This is the hundreds place, this is the tens place and this is the units place. So in place value terms, this can be written as 1 multiplied by 100 plus 1 multiplied by 10 plus minus 6 multiplied by 1. We just multiplied each digit with its place value. 100 plus 10 is 110 and minus 6 times 1 is minus 6. 110 minus 6 will equal 104. So if you get confused trying to remember this, you should use place value logic to arrive at the answer. I know all this was too painful for finding the solution of 13 times 8. We will look at some tougher examples with bigger numbers like 105 times 97 or 1007 times 998 in the next part of this session. <laughs>